I have the best free intro maker app for Android and today I'm gonna to show you how to use it. And if you're watching this on an iPhone or an iPad, head down to the description. I'm gonna put a link to another intro maker app for you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go down and drop a hashtag new in the comments down below. My name is Dean Nimmin and I help mobile content creators and mobile YouTubers. So if that is what you are, if that's what you wanna become, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So the app I'm talking about today is called Legend. And before you close this down or go down and leave a comment saying clickbait, they brought Legend back to the Play Store recently. I know they took it away for a while and iOS users, they lost it completely, but it is back. I believe it's under new ownership, but it is the same app with some upgrades and I'm gonna show you how to use them today. So grab your phone, put Legend in, and let me show you how to use it. When you open up the Legend app, it's gonna display text right in the center of the app. Now, this is the text that shows on my end, but this might not be the text that you see, but this is the text that you're going to edit. So tap on that and you can write whatever you want. I'm gonna write my name on this, D. Nimmin. And it's gonna look like this. Now down at the bottom, you're gonna see the check mark. Simply tap on the check mark and you're gonna see more options show up down here at the bottom. What I'm gonna focus on right now is the play button in the center. But if you wanna take a picture and use that as a background, you can simply tap on the photo icon and use your favorite photo app to add a picture or you can add a file from your phone. So if you wanted a background, maybe some bokeh or something like that, you can go into your gallery and you can add a background and then build a text on top of it. Whichever one of those you choose, or if you just wanna do text only, either way, you're gonna end up right back here. So we're gonna tap on the play button right here in the center. And what you're going to notice is three rows of options. The first row is gonna show how the text is gonna be displayed and the animation involved. And you can continue to scroll to the right and see all the different options here. And the second row is the color choices that you have. So you can go through and you can tap on those and you can see it's gonna change the color choices. Now, if you're looking at this as a square like I am and you're wondering, hey, I don't want this ratio, that's not a problem. Simply head down to the bottom left and tap on the little settings icon and then you can choose the actual orientation of how you want it to look. Right now you can see it's set as a square, but we don't want that. We wanna go over to landscape, simply tap on that. And I'm gonna go up to 1080p because that's how I make my videos. But if you wanted to add this into an Instagram story or an Instagram post, you can go over to Insta and you can choose your format there as well. But I'm gonna stick to landscape 1080p and then I'm gonna hit okay. And immediately you're gonna see that the canvas here has changed to the correct ratio. Now next to the settings icon is a Facebook Messenger share icon. If I tap on that, it's gonna save this animation as a GIF and it's gonna allow me to send it out to people into Facebook, but I don't wanna do that. Next to that is the share icon where you can share this as a GIF or share it as a video. Or next to that, you have the download icon. Simply tap on that and you can save it as a GIF or a video to your actual device. And next to that is if you wanna save it as an MP4 file. Simply tap on that and as you see, it says building your legend as MP4. And then it's gonna save it to your device. So the app really works that easy. You just add whatever text that you want or whatever quote that you want and you find the right look and color and you save it to your device. But there's a couple things to make note of. One, you might get hit with some pop-up ads while you're using this because this is a free app. So if the ads open up, simply close them down if you're not interested. Second, you might be wondering what to do with this once you save it to your device. What you wanna do if you wanna add this to your YouTube video is you wanna save it as a video onto your device. So when you open up your video editing app, you simply pull this file into your video editing timeline and then it works just like any other normal video and you can add your other video clips onto it and render it out that way. If you wanna learn more about intro makers like this or learn about video editing apps or other creative apps that you can use with your phone, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.